I'm glad I made it up the stairs without tripping. Jump the fence. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. Good. Well, you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'm from East Chicago, so I came back home. I got some errands to run. I'm gonna see some cousins in a minute. So, um, and and I think it's it's really important that we we came to this side of the airport, right? Because uh, I think it's absolutely, absolutely true that this has been, is, and will continue to be uh, a hunting ground, right, for these racist deportations, right? This, this, this is where all of that will, will take place, absolutely. Uh, I'm from Black Lives Matter, Gary. And what we, thank you, thank you. What we do is we fight, period. In addition, what we fight for is justice for people who have suffered all types of indecencies under the system. A system that at least has the rhetoric that those things are not supposed to happen. Right? Black Lives Matter was founded under the auspice of our lives matter. Right? Police abuses, state abuses, school abuses, all of that. Our lives matter. Black lives matter. Yeah. Everybody's, well, the lives of marginalized people under this system, on which this system profits, on which this system continues to run and make money, our lives matter. They have to, right? Without our lives, this system would not work, right? My, my, my first entree into activism was in East Chicago fighting the uh, chemical disposal facility that they proposed and then, then built across the street from a high school and an elementary school. Right, once again, sacrificing the lives of mostly black and Latino families and youth. And that's after generations of poisoning them with toxic oil reserves. Right, the largest, I believe, national holding of oil right here in East Chicago, Indiana. Right, was my first foray into fight back. Right, my great grandfather tried to walk from East Chicago to Chicago to go to uh, a rally when he was a teenager with some of his friends and were turned away by cops on horseback. Right, since that time and longer, they've tried to stop us from fighting back. But we have to fight back. Right, we have to fight back. Let me hear that, y'all. We gotta fight back. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. and we have to fight back against it. Those of us who built this system, systems before it, systems after it, with our work, with our labor, with our bodies, with our lives, we gotta fight back, y'all. We gotta fight back. When we say black lives matter, we are talking about our lives, the lives of people who are some of the most oppressed under this system. If our lives matter, your lives have to matter too. It's not an exclusion. It's not an exclusion of anybody else's life. But we are absolutely saying that the reason these trains are running, carrying materials that people are gonna make money off of, is because our lives matter when they want work done. So our lives matter when we just wanna be here living. Right, they have to. From the young woman whose who's horror started off in East Chicago, when she was abused by her ex-boyfriend, taken to Gary, run over, dumped, and couldn't even get a report filed in East Chicago. 
was told that the detective was on vacation. And then it was found out that maybe this guy was related to somebody. Right, couldn't get justice then for the family of Kimonte Cobb, a young man that was killed by Gary police under suspicious circumstances. Every, every cop that submitted a report submitted a different report, as if they were watching different series of events. So right now, the young man whose family and Gary are seeking answers for his death at the hands of cops. Witnesses say one cop shot him. Their report says another cop shot him. That's not separate from young people in the streets killing each other because they have no material options. Because that's what they've learned, because that's the propaganda that's put out about us in our communities. That's not separate from these schools actively not recruiting in these areas. You could have a school in Hammond, Indiana, right on the brink of minority communities, and have the very least number of people who go to these universities are from these communities. Our lives have to matter more than that. We have to make our lives matter more than that. We have to make them recognize that our lives matter more than that. This is a fight against racism. This is a fight against nationalism. This is a fight against sexism. This is a fight against capitalism. This is a fight against imperialism. <laughs> it's not a separate fight from these people in Central America walking across their countries, fleeing, not just terror from quote unquote criminals, terror from their police, terror from their governments, terror from people that don't have other options that they perceive as viable, right? But to marginalize other people. We have to fight back against that because money is being made off of all of it. Money is being made off of all of it. Right? We're in East Chicago, really, really near to the community where the West Calumet Complex once stood. Once again, a lifetime of people who have been poisoned, poisoned for generations, poisoned for generations and summarily moved out with little to no remuneration because their lives didn't matter. Their lives absolutely didn't matter. People who were thrown back into homelessness, back into dangerous living situations, back into abusive situations because they had nowhere else to go. Their lives matter. So when we stand here in these communities, specifically talking about these deportations, we in Black Lives Matter, the reason why we're involved in this fight is because we see the root cause as the same as this mass incarceration, these school to prison pipelines. Right, We see the fight as the same against being poisoned in our homes, at our jobs, in our communities that make us go out and undersell our labor power. This is the system. And that's what we all have to fight back against because our lives matter. Yeah. Right? Of course, I'm not saying that rhetoric hashtag all lives matter because they don't. Not under this system. Right. All lives do not matter. That's right. How, we, we just had a cop. Jason Van Dyke convicted of killing a young man, but not convicted of violating policy, because it is their policy to kill us. That is their modus operandi. They kill us to serve as examples so everybody else falls into line. They will kill us, they will terrorize us, they will brutalize our bodies for profit. That's what they do, that's what this system is, that's what Black Lives Matter fights back against, and that's what we all have to fight back against. We all have to fight back. Right. All right? Fight back! 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 We gotta keep it going, y'all. We gotta fight back. Thank you. Right.